happening welcome back to yet another version of trader talk tuesday now i know today isn't tuesday today is wednesday i was supposed to release this video yesterday however i was so exhausted my back oh my goodness i was tired i was exhausted and i don't really like shooting videos when i'm exhausted because i feel like you guys can tell and i, I don't really give it my best okay so i'm back today with a fantastic episode now guys today i'm very excited i'm very happy because a lot of the analysis we did on the last trader talk tuesday have all played out it's been amazing the euro has gone on to melt you know and pretty much hit our target aud usd did an absolute madness in terms of trend reversal this just goes to to show that the principles that we share on or rather the principles that i share on price action on my youtube channel actually do work okay so guys for the forex mastery students i want to say a big thank you to you guys you know i owe you guys so much because you guys believed in the course you jumped on it and for those of you guys who are absolutely smashing it and loving it i I, 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 nothing makes me happier than to see you guys, you know, make that positive change. I'm starting to see a lot of screenshots from you guys telling me, oh, sir, I have finally done my first redrawal and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, I'm really happy about that. So, like I said, guys, today we're going to be discussing, you know, what exactly is happening in the market. Are there any trading opportunities for us to take, you know, and stuff like that. Um, what else? Am I missing anything out again? Now, um, there's a question I always get, right? Two questions I always get. I, the number one question is, the Forex Mastery course, I'm, a, I'm an absolute new trader. I'm a beginning trader. Is it going to help me? How do I use the Forex Mastery? I've never traded Forex before. Now, the Forex Mastery course was actually designed for traders who were struggling. So, the Forex Mastery course as of last year, if you had come on the program, for the people that came on the program early when it just launched, you realize that the information there was actually designed for struggling traders because I created the course because you know i wanted to give back to the community the fx for community at the cheapest price possible because i felt like everybody was trading forex but struggling you know so we jumped right into the best approach we said don't use indicators don't use signals top-down analysis i went straight into strategy i went straight into the advanced aspect of trading however this year as time went on i started to realize that a lot of people don't really even know what forex is so we decided to add a beginner's module to the forex mastery course so now we can confidently say and state for a fact that the forex mastery program can take you all the way from not knowing anything about forex as long as you take module one it will work you all the way down to becoming an advanced and professional trader why because now we've added the beginners module you can just progress from being a beginner into the really good stuff i'll take that again the the people who are struggling guys the forex mastery course is designed for you guys however now we've gone also to add another module that will cater for beginners so guys if you want to go ahead and grab the course the link is going to be down below second question is my preferred broker right so my preferred broker is actually infinox capital now Infinox, a lot of you guys that are watching this actually watch me from Nigeria, right? So Infinox Capital is for people who trade from Nigeria because you guys have issues funding. I don't know. They have funding issues so they can only fund with their local bank account. So Infinox is my preferred broker with it was, you know, I'm trading within the Nigerian space because I can fund from my local bank account, Axis Bank, GT Bank and stuff like that. Quick bank transfer and they convert the Naira into USD. So for Nigeria, the Nigerian space, Infinox Capital is my preferred broker. Once again, the link is going to be down below. Now, when I'm overseas, now if you're watching this from South Africa, Botswana, Kenya, now I know I have a lot of people from different parts of the world, Botswana, Kenya, wherever it is you are in Africa, in the world, UK, Australia, my preferred broker internationally is FX Primus. So I actually have trading account with these two brokers. I use Infinox Capital whilst, I mean, if I want to obviously deposit or redraw straight into my Nigerian bank account, but if I want to deposit with my bank card, with my foreign bank and my Barclays bank, because I bank with Barclays in the UK, I also bank with um, HSBC as well, and in Dubai, I use uh, Mashrek and Emirates NDB bank. So when I'm overseas, I use FX Primus because they're more of... Um, not like they're more of an international broker from Infinox, but Infinox is more of catered to the Nigerian market because um, of the fact that they have funding issues. So FX Primus is my preferred broker. So if you're watching this from wherever it is you are in the world, 
South Africa, um, um, the UK, uh, where else do we? UK, Australia, Ghana. Shout out to my Ghanaian brothers, South Africa. Shout out to the South African women. <laughs> South African women are crazy, man. Just saying. Anyways, but that's by the way. So yeah, the link to both brokers will be down below. Infinox for Nigerians only. FX Primos for if you're watching this from anywhere else in the world. So guys, enough of that. I just wanted to clarify that. Is there any other question I always get? Um, yes, for those of you guys who are wondering if you take the course, how do you get to ask me questions? Um, you get to ask me questions by when you take the course. You need to complete the course. Once you're done with the course, then you send me all your... As you're taking the program, write down all your questions and then send everything to me in as a whole, okay, on my Telegram and then I respond back to you. This way, you don't watch and ask and then it's just long finish. Take down the questions, send them over to me and I'll answer every single one of your questions. So, as you can see, every day we try to make everything better. We're trying to make the ecosystem better, bringing out more YouTube videos, trying to stay more consistent, trying to provide as much value as possible possible so guys enough of all of that we're here today for what the charts we want to see what the charts have to say so let's get into the charts and see what we got cooking once again the links to everything is going to be down below forex mastery course my preferred broker everything the links is going to be down below but for now let's go yes people welcome inside of my screen once again it's amazing to share my charts with you guys sorry i was blabbing a lot on the intro of the video um, but I just had to answer a couple of questions. So now we're, we're, we're back into the charts. You know, I'm a charts guy. I like to um, I like to come and actually show you guys what's happening, what I'm thinking, the, the, the trades I'm placing and stuff like that. Um, you guys know I don't believe in coming on here to show you guys how much I have in my bank account. You know, a lot of people screenshot stuff and Photoshop it and do all of that. Trust me, I, I've been in this industry for about 10 years and I've actually seen a lot. I've seen a lot, so uh, I feel like the best way I can show, um, the best way I can contribute to the forex industry is to actually help you guys, nudge you guys throughout the process by analysis, you know, by pretty much training your mind to see the market the way it should be seen and not coming on here to oppress you guys by the latest, latest cars I just bought. However, I think sooner or later I'm probably going to start showing off a little bit because I don't think this channel is growing fast enough. I'm pretty certain if I kept on showing on the Lamborghinis I drive in Dubai, maybe you guys, I'll probably get more subscribers. I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to include some lifestyle content coming very soon. But for now, let's focus on the charts because at the end of the day, me driving a Lamborghini doesn't add any value to your life. It only just makes you feel like you know just gives you sleepless nights what actually adds value to your bank account and what actually takes you from where you are to the next level which is my purpose is stuff like this analysis um you know and basically my trading tips and my trading knowledge so yeah we're finally on the chart so guys what i have in front of me right about now is AUD USD. Now, during the last Trader Talk Tuesday, what I did was I had analyzed AUDUSD. Um, I had looked at the pair and I had said to you guys that um, from what I was seeing, AUDUSD on the monthly time frame was, you know, was about to resume its downtrend. We had rallied all the way up into this resistance level. I could see this descending trend line coming all the way down. If you're very new to the way I trade, um, this is known as a top-down analysis whereby we start our analysis from the monthly time frame and then we work our way down. You should know by now, especially the Forex Mastery students, you know, we always kick off our analysis on the monthly. We analyze on higher time frames and execute on lower time frames. And I'm going to show you guys the perfect example of how that works right about now, okay? Let me just move this to the left hand side. So on the monthly time frame, you can see a very clear downtrend, right? This is a very clear downtrend. However, uh, at this point, the market was pretty much retracing for like so for like the better part of the better part of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the better part of 2021. Um, the market was actually heading all the way back to the upside. However, I something in me just knew that the overall trend for GB, um, for AUD USD was still bearish, right? Um, so what has happened is we have run into problems. AUD USD has run into problems. Um, it has run into this resistance level about here, um, and obviously I could see this descending trend line. So once I saw these two things, right? The market had come in here, descending trend line, and then I started to see 
this is known as indecision. We were indecisive for one, two, three, four, five months. This is why from around the month of late last week in February, you could not you could see that it was a lot more difficult for you guys to find the direction in the market. The reason why that was happening was because if you came on the monthly time frame, you would see all these indecision candles. But for people who don't know exactly understand how the market works. For people who are always stuck on lower time frames, you won't be able to understand what exactly is happening. Hence, you would be trying to trade and looking for trade opportunities that don't exist and then keep getting burnt. Why? Because the market just isn't heading anywhere. On the All I needed to do was come on the monthly time frame. And once I saw the way these candles were forming, I already knew the market was indecisive. So what did I do? I stepped away from the market and I kept on preaching to you guys until this market breaks in either direction. I won't really be interested. Yes, we saw one trade that led us all the way to the upside, but that was it. I wasn't really interested in trading AUD USD. You can check my subsequent videos. I was now interested in trading AUD USD when, excuse me, I was now interested in trading AUD USD when the market finally gave me a direction. Um, so we popped into here and then we came and broke out of this indecision. So on the monthly time frame, this market is pretty much bearish. I can tell that this market most likely wants to come and test this right hand, um, this right hand support to form the right shoulder to this left shoulder, making this the head. So monthly time frame has pretty much told me that it wants to head south. It had told me this two to three weeks ago. So obviously I came on the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame is where I come to plot my levels. If you want to find out how to plot these levels properly, you're going to have to grab the Forex Mastery course. I plot them. It doesn't take me more than two minutes to plot these levels. So weekly time frame, I plotted my levels. And then on the daily time, no, 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 weekly time frame, I spotted something. I spotted an inverse head and shoulder at a major level. First of all, whenever it is you see, a chart pattern on a high time frame like a weekly time frame best believe and i keep preaching this best believe that chart pattern is most likely going to hold now chart patterns are reversals in the game i'll give you an example if you look carefully you will see that this market kicked off its journey around here 0.600 we carried our way ourselves all the way to the top side here this inverse head and shoulder is the reason and is responsible for why this market went from an uptrend to now a downtrend so if forever whatever reason it is you're in doing your analysis and then you find out that on a weekly time frame i have seen a massive chart pattern like this form and guys Another thing I want you guys to pay attention to, if you look carefully on the monthly time frame, it was just a couple of candles. I could tell that there was a lot of indecision, whereas on the weekly time frame, it was busy systematically plotting left shoulder, head and right shoulder. On the monthly, I could tell there was an issue, like a lot wasn't going on, but on the weekly, it was even giving me more information. You can see how I'm stepping down monthly it just showed me how you were struggling it was just moving sideways weekly it was systematically plotting these these key um invest and um, this key head and shoulder levels so that you know you know just so that i could basically have more information to trade with so monthly had told me listen i want to head down i'm moving sideways i've hit this level i want to go down <laughs> but i wasn't sure yet and then weekly, I came on the weekly and I could see left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And then this is one of the very common rules in the foreign exchange market. Once we see a chart pattern form and then we break the neckline, chances are that this market is going to reverse. If you, for those of you guys who have attended so many Forex webinars, seminars and all that, you see a lot of different concepts. Now, there are, some set, there are certain concepts that I like to stick to because over time, they have been proven to work. There's Elliott Wave, there's this, there's that. You see head and shoulders, double tops, double bottoms, inverse head and shoulders. Whenever it is they form on higher time frames and the market comes to break the neckline, best believe that shit is going to work. So once I saw the break of this neckline, I, I came on here and did I, I made the announcement and I told you guys that listen 
wait for a test back of this neckline and start looking for selling opportunities now we can come over to the daily time frame to now look for trading opportunities so you can see how we've done monthly weekly now we're at the daily and at the daily yours truly actually came in to test here on the daily i was struggling to find entries usually i like to enter on the daily but if i'm struggling to find entries on the daily i will then come to the four hour because why do i do this you have to understand that the I can see something happen on a higher time frame, but to be able to get an entry is a lot more difficult because on a higher time frame, it just shows us one individual candles. But when you scale to a lower time frame, you start to see the how the waves actually formed, to how the waves actually occurred to form that higher time frame candle. I'll take it again. Let me let's go back to the four-hour time frame. I don't think I should be sharing this here. This should be actually exclusive for the Forex Mastery students, but that's fine. Um, I'm in the mood today. So you can see that we pulled back all the way here. I had already stated categorically that wait for the pullback into the neckline and start looking for selling opportunities. But because of the way the candles just formed, it was just looking at one individual candles. I was struggling to find a place to you know put my counter trend line the best thing to always do is then this is the only time you are permitted to come to lower time frames and you can see i'm coming onto the lower time frame to look for the waves now you, i can see the bottoms of the wave form now i can actually draw my counter trend line and don't forget we don't trade in the levels as you can see the market came to this level and it broke it this is a clear case of market manipulation i waited for the market to come to manipulate this level as we started to come down we broke this level about here ladies and gentlemen i started selling and i had already told you guys obviously we have to come back to higher time frame to look left my next level target was here and i said once we break here ladies and gentlemen we're going to come all the way here so my first level target has actually been achieved pretty nicely i'm very happy about this um this bad boy is looking like it wants to continue falling um so let's see if we can look for another selling opportunity at the moment i have closed out about 90 percent of my trade i'm just holding on to maybe a little I've closed out 80% of my trade. I'm actually holding on to just a couple of lots left. My stop, I've closed out a lot. My stop losses at somewhere about here, just above this area about here, because we could actually drop all the way down here. If I come on here and I draw my counter trend line, we could actually drop all the way down here, to be honest. Um, but I'm just looking at the way this market is. Oh, guys, this market looks like it wants to actually start dropping off. I might actually be looking to hop into this to add to my position. Give me a second. Let me see something. If I draw. See, I don't really like. So only now that the higher time frame has given us a direction, monthly has told us it's coming. Remember, let me go back to the monthly and explain something to you guys. This is more of a coaching session than it is of even any analysis. Monthly, remember we said this market wants to come down here to form the right shoulder to this left shoulder right about here. We want to come here. So monthly has told us, I want to come to 0.700, actually 0.7,000. I want to come to open. I want to come to this blue bar here. Now, whatever thing it is we're doing on lower time frames, our mind should be what focus on coming to this blue bar. So we identify overall directions on higher time frames, and then we scale to lower time frames to trade in that direction. Most of you guys have come across my, come across me, um, come came across me because of my ads, and in the ads I was telling you guys, especially on Facebook. This is how you trade. Go on higher time frames, anticipate thousands of pips, then scale to lower time frames. This is a clear case of that. Higher time frame anticipation doesn't take that much. And then we can scale to lower time frames and then start looking for trading opportunities in that direction. So, guys, for this particular trade, well, you see, I'm most likely gonna sell this once I get off this. I like the way this trade has formed pretty nicely. For this trade my my first level target is going to be here not so far away now why am i not too enthusiastic about this this particular trade i'm not too enthusiastic because i feel like this retracement is quite small we can fall off we can fall off without a doubt however i will be very quick to lock in something and move stop losses to break even because just by looking at the way this consolidation happened uh I'm not too 
confident that this consolidation can lead to a power move to the downside. I still feel that we will probably come and consolidate some more before we obviously head in, start heading to the downside. Let me just adjust this and see maybe that might be why exactly. We haven't even tested this trend line just about yet. So four hour candle close. I'll be waiting for a, this candle, need four hour candle close bearish like this is what is going to prompt me to get into this market. I won't be scaling lower to the one hour because the one hour is in, well, the one hour seems to have broken pretty nicely and we have pretty much cleared it. I'm actually going to adjust. I'm actually going to adjust my trend lines properly just to make guys another thing is for my entries this is one of my entry strategies that I teach on the Forex Mastery course for my entries for my entries um, what was I gonna say sorry someone's message for my entries I like as much as possible to accommodate all the wicks because if you draw your counter trend line too close to the market although you might have gotten in earlier and had all these pips if this market comes and stops here this is still this will still be categorized as how do i put this a bounce of this counter trend line this market could still head up to stop you out so i like to make sure that everything has been accommodated what i'm talking about is this part here i would not draw my counter trend line like this like this i would make sure that all the wicks i have made sure that i've covered everything and then there's a clear break even this one hour candle is not going to be i'm not going to be okay with it a four hour candle needs to break so i keep getting a lot of questions from people how do you talk about how do you define your entries for me entries are so simple i use either range breakouts or counter trend line breakout i speak more about this in detail on the forex mastery course anyway so um i'm not here to talk about how i get into the market or how i get out just know that i'm most likely going to be selling this first level targets must be here at the you can tell guys that from here to here the difference isn't much why am i taking out 50 percent of my position here i'm doing that because this market can easily come here and reverse back to the upside i don't care how little i make from here to here i care about making something and preserving the rest of my money primary focus so even if I only make maybe 60 pips here, that's fine. I will lock in my profit, take out some positions, okay? Then whatever the market wants to do after we break here, is I'm absolutely risk-free so I can sleep better and make better decisions. I'll take that again. Once I enter here, first level target, I'm taking out, closing out half if I have 10 lots open, I'll close out 5. For the remaining 5 lots that are open, I'll move stop losses to break even. So that once we get here, because several situations, the market has got into the 100% retracement and just jumped all the way back to the upside. When I teach, when I speak on here, when I educate you guys, I speak from experience. I speak from situations whereby I have lost money in the past. So I have put in contingency plans in place to ensure that Whatever has cost me money in the past doesn't cost me money again. And this has been working fantastically for, well for me. And I encourage you guys to do the same as well. So this is it for AUDUSD, guys. Um, I'm currently, I've made some good pips on this. I'm very happy. And this seems to be forming as well. If I see a four-hour candle close, um, I'm 80% sure of a downside movement. The reason I'm 20% unsure is because of the size of this retracement. I don't feel like it's big enough and we didn't obviously come to test here this is another thing i want to educate you guys about if for any reason you're getting into a trade and you don't feel comfortable about something always write it down i always for instance before i get into this trade i have my my my, my journal here it's very simple i'm just going to open a new page create a case file for AUD USD. write the date and obviously say what exactly is happening uh, these are my entry levels take profit here what are my concerns once you write down your concerns you find out that if that thing you were worried about happens 
you will not be in a better place to handle that situation. I'll give you an example. If for whatever reason this trade doesn't work out, I have written it down in my concerns and I will write down what I am going to do if the trade doesn't pan out the way I want it to, to pan out. This way, if I open up my computer and the market has gone against me, I'm not taking it back. I'm not like, shit, where's my money? Because I've written it down. I will just simply follow what I have written in my journal and I'll be like, okay, so I said, if this happened, this is exactly what I'm going to do. And once I do exactly what I have written down, I feel a lot better. I feel in control of my trading. I'm not saying this isn't going to work out. This looks like a very good trade, to be honest. But I'm just telling you guys, these are the little mind hacks. These are the little psychological things you need to imbibe in your trading so that you can actually become a better trader sometimes some of you guys get your analysis spot on but it's all these little things that just throw you guys off balance right so i think i'm spending too much time on AUD USD. let me just do a little recap AUD USD. long story short overall target 0.700 i can bet anything on this AUD USD 0.700 is overall targets for this bad boy. Um, we're going to obviously be looking at this bad boy come down all the way down here. If I draw my trend line like so, um, destroy it like this. One thing about the market, let me teach you guys a little trick. You see how we climb this ladder to the upside. When we're coming down, we must come and revisit the levels of the ladder. I'll take it again. You see this step of the ladder? When we break and we come down, this is going to be a very major point in the market. So that's a little trick. So this is why I can look at this market about here and I can anticipate. We might not fall down immediately, but I know for a fact that this level, this market is definitely, definitely, definitely going to get here and hold. Why? Because this was a step in the ladder. So that's just a little trick I wanted to throw in there. So it's very simple and easy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm expecting AUDUSD to collapse to the downside. As you can see, I'm going to delete all this stuff. I don't like my chart being a bit all messy. As you can see, so simple, easy, sweet, and straightforward is a uh, train is coming down choo, 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 choo. it's gonna come down as long as we sustain below this level we're coming here remember we move from zone to zone so enough about AUD USD um, enough about AUD USD um, but guys I also won't be uh, I'm a bit concerned about it like I always have my concerns and I have to share them with you guys I'm a bit concerned about here if I see a double bottom here Let's give it a week and see what happens, okay? But I know we're going to come in here, okay? Let's see if we can break below this level, we're going to come here. I'm a bit concerned about this bad boy. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This bad boy is giving me a little bit of concern. Why? I just feel that... Mm, let's watch what happens, okay? Let's watch what happens. At the moment, I've made a lot of money on AUD, USD. I'm not being greedy at the moment. Um... Four hour candle needs to close as you can see it's getting a bit confused for people that have already got into this trade on a one hour time frame they must be really panicking now because now the market is is not really trying to act like it's not sure four hour bearish candle needs to come and close somewhere around here before i get into this market right because four hours four hour candles are a lot more concrete they, they tend to hold more water and you know they just overall give me the best trading um buyer so yeah that's pretty much it AUD USD. we smashed it we've made a lot of money i'm very happy with this let me quickly jump over to gold these are my two pairs that i'm actually looking at at the moment gold at the moment is looking pretty nice and pretty juicy for me i feel like gold is absolutely going to collapse very soon um i, I, I did this analysis during our last week trader talk um why is gold going to collapse gold is going to collapse for a very simple reason as you can see ladies and gentlemen very simple and straightforward on a monthly time frame double top this is the level this is the level for the double top let me delete all this stuff so that you guys can i can actually draw this level properly so this is the level for gold this is the this is the resistance level for gold right we've come in here we struggle 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 we've pretty much been moving sideways gold has eventually dipped back down it attempted the level but as we attempted the level we were forced back down by a bearish engulfing candle so from what i can see right about here and gold is currently trading back down it traded below this level tried to go above it closed but came back down and closed back down below it 
So from what I can see on, on, the, on the monthly time frame, gold is struggling around that level and we have come back down. We tried to come, but it wasn't as So now we're current. It's like you're trying to break above, but it's not happening. The thing is, is every time we go in, hit it, every time, mm, mm, you know, like a mother, an African mother that is hitting their child. Me, my friend, would you behave yourself? That's what's happening. This level is messing with gold big time. So for what I can see, what I feel is going to happen to gold is this. If I put up my horizontal array right about here, um, I feel like gold is going to hold on to this level for dear life and then drop drastically all the way to the downside. Um, I don't see gold heading any higher, if I'm being honest. Um, so if I come to the daily time frame, daily time frame is where we come to refine our entries. Um, I'm just going to obviously try and see maybe if there are any trend lines that might be affecting gold at the moment. Uh, no trend lines here affecting gold. So I feel, I feel, I feel this is exactly what's going to play out for gold. Um, I've, let's go on a four hour time frame to see if we can refine our entries. Yeah. If gold can break down below this bad boy about here, so this is exactly what's going to pan out for gold. Uh, don't really like scaling down to time frames that are this little. So, but but this is what I feel. So this is more of a structural break, kind of like trading environment. So if gold can break 1.797 bearish engulfing four-hour candle break. Feel free to start selling. First level target 1750. Once we break 1750, 168. 2.24 now what is the reason for this we this guy this mother this resistance is tapping it's playing with gold mine it's tapping it down right and the reason why this market hasn't collapsed is because of this guy about here so if you can guys not a fake out please a four hour candle close stop losses can come above the right shoulder this is looking like a left shoulder head and kind of like a right shoulder so just the same scenario with AD, USD. if you can pop back, back down below here feel free to start selling and then we can drop all the way back down however if we don't do that and we start to point all the way to the upside this trade is invalid the only way this trade is valid is if a four hour candle comes to close down here and then we start dropping all the way to the downside around here. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the two pairs I'm looking at. AUD, USD, four hour candle close, start selling. Um, gold, four hour candle close, start selling. I'm 80% sure about these two trades. The remaining 20% is just because um, we're not exactly in the best trend at the moment. So I always reserve a little 20% because you could be wrong but according to my analysis i feel like we're going to be right 80 percent we've made a lot of money on uh, aud usd and we also made a lot of money on the euro as well because i called euro short just quickly go over and recap my euro trade and yeah euro is pretty much just moving sideways okay no wonder there's been there's been very thin trading volume on the euro because um the last week was a holiday it was a muslim holiday and I was telling you guys, um, this this is actually happening on the euro at the moment. Sorry guys, this video is quite long. This is actually happening on the euro at the moment. Actually guys, actually, actually, this is a bigger picture for, for, for the euro. So the euro is, you know, kind of like not sure about what he wants to do around this area. So if you're within the, if I was you, I wouldn't be in the euro trade right now. Honestly, this is my honest advice. I have closed out my euro trade. This is where I, I shorted the euro a couple of days back last week. My sell trade in the euro was here. Simple counter trend line break. I explained it here. This was my sell trade on the euro. Bam. I told you guys this left my overall target was here. I took out 50% of my of my profit here. My overall target is here. But be this guy. This guy, this line that I'm seeing that is forming a wedge on a higher time frame is making me uncomfortable. So I have closed, especially during the seller break when we were going up and down. I just closed out the trade. I didn't have the heart. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to see this trade through. We can collapse and still fulfill my analysis. But sometimes your emotions get the best of you and we're all human beings. And honestly, I've made money from it. 
all you do USA has made me some money. I don't really want to play with the Euro at the moment. Euro, I'm not interested in playing with you. I'm sorry. Thank you for all the money you've given me so far. Um, the wickedness you have done in this year has been too much. We finally made some money from you. And I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. But, you know, because of this, look at it, guys. On the weekly time frame, this market is pretty much falling for me in a wedge. Okay. That's exactly why we're struggling to come to overall target. We can still come here, but this guy is it's looking like he doesn't want to give up. And especially once I start to see a lot of daily candles start to move sideways, you can see what fire <laughs> bullish engulfing. Oh, no, no, but it's not happening. We might reverse to the upside for the euro. So I'm not setting on the euro. Honestly, at this moment, the euro is a bit 50 50 to me, and I don't like trading 50 50 stuff. I like. AUDUSD, you've told me, you've committed, you showed me. I like that. Gold, come, come, show me. I like that. But well, Euro at the moment, brother, I'm not interested. Three weeks ago, you committed to a direction for me. I was happy about that. You've made me money and I'm happy. Thank you so much. But at this time, I want to go spend time with my family. You've made me some good. Probably made about 23% return on investment on this Euro trade alone has covered all the break-even trades and minor losses we made on the euro earlier on in the year. So for the euro, up till now, we've made some significant amount of money. So, not being greedy, thank you to the euro um, at the moment. But yeah, we're pretty much between these two spaces. We can easily collapse. But that line, I'm just not happy about the line. It's making this market move sideways. So for the euro, I'm going to be standing on my hands. My two favorite pairs at the moment, AUD, USD, looking for selling opportunities and gold. We're looking for what selling opportunities. Let me just see if uh, GBP, USD, let's see what's happening with GBP, USD. GBP, USD is actually one of my favorite pairs, but lately we've just been... Act, it's just been acting up. So on the weekly time frame, I can almost bet you that left shoulder has formed head and right shoulder has formed at a major level. You have to allow this guy finish forming, which will probably take another month. Um, once we form, try and not avoid trading inside of this region. It is forming its head and shoulder pattern and is going to consolidate. Inside the consolidation phase, you don't know what's going to happen. It's stressful. It's not going to give you the best trades possible. Trade GBP USD at your own risk. The only way I'm going to be interested in this market is if we break above here, I know we're coming here. I can trade this space. Or if we break this neckline, I know, yes, we have all this way to the downside. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying till the very end of this version of Trader Talk. I um, just want to quickly recap the trades that I'm looking at at the moment. And Go and enjoy some of my profits. I'm going to go redraw some freaking money from the bank. I'm going to go spend some freaking money and, I don't know, just go to the beach, go to Dubai Mall. Buy. I love wearing Hermes slippers. Go and obviously spend some, some of the money. Guys, another tip is to always redraw your proceeds. Always try and redraw some money. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Because when the dark time comes, fam, in Forex market, dark times can be really dark. I know that. Um, so now that obviously things are happening, going in our favor, you know, everybody's happy, happy, making some money. So I'm trying to withdraw some of the money, spend, spend it on yourself and spend it on your family. And yeah, so guys, I'm going to take you guys to my other screen. I have a little message for you guys. And then, yeah, thank you once again for staying to the very end. And another thing, US oil, 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 oil has hit guys look at just our very basic analysis on the monthly time frame when oil jumped back at 32 dollars a barrel from the way we were going i already knew do you know that from 32 dollars a barrel i knew that oil was going to come to 74 dollars a barrel how did i know top down analysis so simple you can use this analogy for any market any instrument i keep getting questions can i use it for you can use it for anything once we if we break 74 dollars a barrel where's oil coming to next 105 simple you can see it all plotted, all easy, all nice. Anyways, guys, let's go over to my other screen. Let's go. Love you guys. Let's go. Thank you for staying till the end of this amazing trader talk, guys. It was a pleasure sitting down with you guys and catching up with you guys and getting to explain the charts. As you can see, the way we trade over here is so simple and straightforward. Don't need to break your head. It's step by step, level by level. Once you know how to do this, it becomes second nature to you. You don't need to stress yourself. As you can see, it takes us 
about five minutes for us to break down one chance and nine out of ten times we are correct okay so if you haven't joined the forex mastery team the family i don't know what you're waiting for man you need to do that as soon as possible so that you can stop blowing all your money away as you can see all our trades that we've called have all happened and i'm actually quite happy that has happened so yeah i think for the year we're looking pretty good uh, for those of you who started trading with us in january via uh, my trade tips on youtube if you parade them if you do the average we've actually been right um about eight about seven to eight out of ten times so far it's just july anyway and i believe now the market is trending you have to understand that at the beginning of the year the market wasn't exactly trending now traders always struggle when the market isn't trending but once the market starts to trend like it's doing now you know it's go 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 now we can actually make some good money so guys once again if you haven't already grabbed the forex mastery course the link is going to be down below thank you so much for staying to the very end if you haven't subscribed drop me a subscribe button right there and drop me a like drop me a comment Comment, drop me something man can't keep watching these videos for free and not do anything come on mate thank you for staying till the end take it easy and peace out